Hey everybody, Gary here, GK Aquatics. Today I'm gonna to show you how I make a trap, an egg trap for egg scattering fish. Let me start over again, because I actually started making these before I, uh, before I said, hey, I should record this. So, let me start over again. What I bought was these little pack of Rubbermaid uh, containers. Uh, I think it was like three or four dollars. Some people use the Pyrex glass. Those are fine too, a little more expensive. But the good thing with those is they sink by themselves. Now, just set this part aside. Then what I do is very carefully, I cut out the center of this making sure I leave, leave just enough lip around here to glue to. Then I get some of this, uh, I don't even know what you call it. It's, it's in the craft department at Walmart or wherever online. And uh, it's for some kind of needlepoint or something like that. I use it for all kinds of fish stuff. Now the idea with this is the eggs are going to fall through and the fish can't eat them. Most egg scatterers really love eating their own eggs. So what you do is you figure out what size you need. You cut it down to where it fits. Um, because this is... Oh, I would much rather have it on the outside. But because this is raised up slightly, it won't sit flush against that. But it will sit flush against the inside. Um, these inside these little tabs which keeps it you want to make sure it stays out of this ring this is my first time too so all right what I got is some super glue super glues are aquarium safe once fully cured oh and I use the super glue gel I don't think it matters what brand cap on hopefully I got it down in there I don't think that's gonna work nope so here's what I'm gonna do carefully take it flip it over Put the weight back on it. Ha! There you go. While that's curing for a few seconds, uh, one thing you want to make sure of is I wanted to use this black, but I was noticing that the holes on this black aren't, there's a lot of flashing in there, and they're not really opened up very well. I don't know if you can even see that. But they're not opened up very well, but the white is much better. It, it's opened up all the way. You want to make sure the eggs can fit through. You could use a larger mesh. I don't have any, so I'm trying this. Okay, now this, in theory, of course not. All right, we're going to try this again a different way. Now, on the videos I watched, it seems like they used a uh, hot glue gun. However, I don't know that I trust the hot glue gun to be aquarium safe. If you know if it's aquarium safe, let me know down in the comments. Make a comment and... Uh, well, it lets everybody else know, too. Everybody else that's watching the videos. Maybe I really need to do it on the inside, whether I want to or not. All right, 
That's not working. Hopefully, this time it'll work, and I'll just glue it to the inside. All right, let's check this out now. Oh, okay, it's still wet. Don't know why it's still wet. We're going to let that sit a lot longer. But like I said, you want to make sure you keep it out of this. If you're going to use it on the back side, make sure you keep it out of this. I don't own a glue gun. Oh, maybe I should invest in one because I don't know. I'm sure at this point I have way too much of this on there. Scooch it around a little bit, get that glue all spread out, put my weight on it, but still make sure it's not in the area there. All right. That one turned out the best. I put it right on the edges, smeared it around a little bit, and you can see the dark spots there where it's doing really good. So that one's the best so far. So that's how to do that. Not right on the edges, but pretty close. You can see where those are, I hope. I hope you can see where those are. Again, don't get it on your fingers. You flip it over. doesn't have to be perfect because like I said what I recommend is you move it around a little get that gel glue all over that stuff then you center it so it's off the edges and we're good there put your weight on it for a couple seconds okay so since I'm using plastic now this is gonna float but once it's filled with water it won't take much to sink it down just a couple rocks will probably do it. Um, three or four is even better. You just have to be careful when you take it out that you don't um, tip it and squish the eggs. I suppose you could super glue these down to the inside of here. But I'm not going to. But that's what I'm going to do. You put the top on it. You put the top on it. Once you get the top on... You just take some green plants. Um, uh, Java moss is great. Green plants or anything w that will allow the eggs to go all the way through. They get collected down here. The fish that laid the eggs can't get to them. And after, uh, well, before they hatch, you want to know your specific fish and uh, how long it takes for the eggs to hatch. Before the eggs hatch, you want to take this out, maybe replace it with another one. Alright, that seems dry. Yeah, just, I would do just a little bit. Maybe like that much. 
don't use that just a little bit to do it all right I'm gonna let that dry for a while all right now I'll show you what it looks like ready to go I just did a water change on these it's a little cloudy but um, as you see here I have it there with the rocks holding it down because it's plastic that is why the glass ones are better you don't have to put rocks in it but eh. uh, and you can see here that I have a rock holding down some uh, what's that guppy grass guppy grass and the white mesh there so that works all right let's check out the other one I do oh this is for the white clouds we'll see how they do it's actually too warm in here for them but yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, let's go to the other tank. Okay, these are Ember Tetras. And you can see, I, oh, there's shrimp in there also. But you can see I did the same thing. I got the rocks in the bottom. And I got the mesh. Oh, sorry about the water spot. All right. And uh, in theory, this should work just fine because they should fall through. Or at least a good portion of them should fall through. And there we go. That's how I'm doing it. I will keep you posted. I'll let you know how this works. Uh, there's another kind of trap I want to try as well. And that may take that one's a little more difficult to build, but I'll let you know on that. Uh, if you have any questions or comment or suggestions how I can make this better, let me know. Uh, go ahead and put them down in the comments section. I love to read the comments. Uh, remember to like this video, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Share it with all your friends or anybody you think might be interested. Uh, like, share, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. That would be great. Helps me out too. Alright, so like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Hey everybody, Gary here. Ah, let me try this again. Hey everybody, Gary here, G 